Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. We are today at the 13th day of May Lead Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover is ambiguous coordinates. The input given here is a string which represents a two-dimensional coordinates and we have to return a list of strings with commas and decimal places. Let's understand this problem with an example. So here is a given input string without commas and decimal places and we have to split the given string into two coordinates. So obviously they are going to be two substrings. In this case 123 can be separated into two substrings in such a way that 1 and 23 or 1, 2 and 3. So after splitting we have to put them with decimal places and commas to form the two dimensional coordinates. In this case the rules given is if it is a single digit number there cannot be any decimal places. So one has to consider it in the same way as such and if it is a 23 and both are non-zero numbers in this case they can have decimal places in between. So we are going to consider 23 as the one number and 2.3 as another number. Same way coming back to a second set of substrings 1, 2 and 3. In this case we have we are going to consider 1, 2 as a single number and 1.2 as another set of number. And 3 is a single digit number so it cannot be considered in any other variation so it has to consider only 3. So now if you consider the overall combination of 2D it will, it will be 1, 23, 1, 2.3 and 1.2, 3. And finally 12 comma 3. So these are the possible combinations we can make from the given input string and this is going to be our output. So how are we going to approach this? So before getting into the approach the another rule given in, here in the problem statement is there is no zero values accepted before and after decimals. Suppose if a digit is completely 0 or 0 0 it cannot be accepted. Same way if there is a zero after decimal for example 1.0 or 2.0 or anything or 21.0 after decimal zeros cannot be accepted. Same way before zero and continuous numbers will also not be accepted that is there is, should not be zero in the front. So what are we going to do is if there is a given string 1, 2, 3 we are going to split the string into all possible combination of substrings into two basically in our main method. So we are going to pass those divided or splitted substrings to our helper method where our helper method is going to process the string and create a list of possible combination with that particular string. For example, if 2, 3 is passed into the helper method, then we are going to find all possible substrings we can perform from this 23. For example, 23 is one string, 2.3 is another string and these things will be added to a list and send back to our main method. Same way it will process one as well and return one more result. So now we have two result for the two substrings passed. So now we are going to perform a cross combination of these two result and finally add it to our result. So our helper method is going to process the given substrings by using the following cases. Case one is starting with zero that is the number passed is starting with 0. If suppose the number passed is 0, 1, 2, 3, then the only possible combination it can have is having a decimal next to 0 because starting with 0 is not allowed. So you cannot have a number 0, 1.23 or 0, 0.12.3 etc. So as these things are not allowed, the only possible way is having a decimal point next to 0. So we are going to check if the past substring's first character is 0. In that case, we are simply going to point it with a decimal and return this as a result. So case 2 is ending with 0. So for example, if a number is ending with 0, 1, 2, 0, in that case, you cannot have a decimal point before 0 since it will it is not allowed. So in this case, you have to consider this 120 as the single number and pass it as our result. So third case is no zeros. In this case, it is very simple. If the given number is 1, 2, 3, in that case, you are going to consider 1, 2, 3 as a whole as one combination and 1.23 and 1, 2.3 and 1. Yeah, that's it. So these three combinations are going to be the result for any number without zeros. So this is how our helper method is going to process and return a list, a string list to our main method. So now let's go for a dry run. So 
So consider here is our main method where we have a string input 1, 2, 0, 3, 4 and we are going to split this string into all possible two, two substrings and pass it to our helper method. So the first combination is going to be 1 and 2, 0, 3, 4. In this case, our helper method is going to process 1 first. So 1 cannot be split into any other form because it is of length 1. So in that case, 1 is the only possible result list it can return. So now the second part of the string is 2034. So now 2034 is going to be processed in such a way that it can be considered as one whole number or 2.034, same way 20.34 and 203.4 and that's it. So now our helper method is going to return these two lists to our main method and we are going to perform cross combinations. For example, one comma 2034, 1, 2.034 and other values. And this is going to add these possible values to a result in the format that braces 1, 2034, close braces and open braces 1, 2.034 and etc. Those two combinations as well. So next split is going to be 1, 2 and 0, 3, 4. So again, it is going to process 1, 2 as 1, 2 as a whole number and 1.2 as one number. Moving on to a 0, 3, 4, in this case, 0 is the first number. So 0, 3, 4 cannot be a whole number. So in this case, the only possible solution the helper can have is 0, 0.34. So now it is going to re return this list and this list for this particular combination or split of the string. So again, we are going to perform a cross combination that is 1, 2 and 0 0.34 and 1.2 and 0 0.34 and that is going to be added to a result in the format that 12 comma 0 0.34 and 1.2 comma 0 0.34 the same way it is going to pass the same function for the next split 1 2 0 and 3 4 again our helper method is going to process and find all combination and return the list and we are going to perform the cross combination and add that to our result list same way the next split is going to be 1, 2, 0, 3 and 4. This is going to be the final split as we don't have any other strings to make further splits and all the possible processed strings are added to our final result list and this is going to be returned as our result. So hope you are understanding this logic as we are going to split the given string into all possible combination it is going to take big O of n time and the helper method is going to run in another processing of EN square as it is going to process all the substrings and add the decimals and etc. And we are going to perform a cross combination of these two lists and that is again going to take EN square time. So overall it is going to take 2 into N square into N time and overall big go of N cube time to achieve this solution. So let's go to code now. So first our string will be having open braces and closed braces. So we are going to have our string only from the first index to last minus one index. So let us have our string yes subtracting or removing the brackets. So I'm going to declare a result list which is going to hold all possible combination. which is what we are going to return finally. So now we are going to iterate through our given string to split them into two, all combination of two strings, two substrings. So now our left is going to have the list of strings with possible first half of the split and right is going to have the list of combinations with the second half of the split and we are going to use these two lists to form combination of both so i'm going to have two for loops to do that and in our result list we are going to add or open braces And finally, we are returning the result. So now let us spend some time in writing our helper method. So 
and we are going to convert our substring to a character array so now comes our cases so first we are going to check whether our given strings first character is zero so if it is zero and its last character is also zero And if the length is equal to 1, then 0 alone is allowed. So we are going to simply add this to our result list and return the result. So now moving on to our next case where our first character is alone 0, not last character is 0. So in that case, we are going to add simply 0 dot and the rest of the string and return the result. So now comes the other case that if our first character is not 0 but the last character is 0, then in that case, we can come consider that complete string itself is a combination. We cannot put any decimal point in that. So we are simply going to add that string itself to our list and finally return the result. So yes, these three easy cases are done. And finally, the final case is there is no zeros. In that case, we have to add decimal points in every possible places. So first, if there is no zeros, then we are going to first add that complete string itself as a one combination. Let us add the string itself as one combination. And we are going to iterate through that given string and add decimal points at every place. So result dot add substring of 0 comma i plus a dot plus s dot substring of the rest. So yes, this is it. We have considered all combinations that is first both zeros in front and back and zeros in front and zeros in back and no zeros. And finally, every combination will be added into a result list, finally returning the result. So once this is passed to our main function, it will take both the lists of left and right and put all combinations into our result. So yes, this is it. Let's run and try. So yes, let's submit. Yes, a solution is accepted. And runs in 8 milliseconds. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. If you like the video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.